Solvay. Solvay. All's ready. Where's the prisoner? That's him? <laughs> this? Such a threat that he is banished to this desolate isle? Have they gone mad in Rome? Watch your words, Titus. Really? Why is he here? Dominus et Deus. What? Dominus et Deus. Lord and God. That is what Emperor Domitian demands to be called. And? There is only one Lord and God. The one I serve. So they sent him here for that, refusing to acknowledge the Emperor as God? Why didn't they just kill him? They tried. Except he wouldn't die. <laughs> what do you mean? Just that. The old man won't die. He's a Christian of some influence. He incites others to follow his so-called savior. Jesus Christ, the Son of God. He was warned, imprisoned, and finally boiled. Boiled? Right. But... That's just it. He wouldn't... Nothing happened. Nonsense. Is it? Why do you think we're here then? He wouldn't recant his allegiance to this... Jesus Christ or stop teaching about him. How can I? Jesus gave his life for me, and for you as well, for everyone. He, he died on the cross to pay for our sins and bring us close to God. He rose from the dead and lives, and has called us as his witnesses. His words bring life and joy, can I withhold such wonderful truth from others? I tell you, I cannot. Well, it hardly did you any good now, did it, you stubborn old fool? Could have saved yourself all this misery and lived your old age with some pleasure, eh, Pulo? You are a soldier. That I am, old man, and a loyal one too, and always will be. Then you will understand what it means to defend something that you believe in. I am honored to be here for Christ, in these chains, on this barren island. And you? Are you honored to be here for your empire? Ah! <laughs> yeah, he got you on that one, Titus. He's as crazy as they come. But how do you know, old man? How are you so certain that this Jesus, that he is, what did he say, the, the son of God? Because I was there. There were signs from the very beginning. And the prophecy, the Lord himself shall give you a sign. Behold, the virgin shall conceive and bear a son, and shall call his name Emmanuel, which means God with us. A virgin? A virgin. <laughs> That's impossible. Not with God. He sent an angel to a city in Galilee, to a virgin. Blessed are you among all women, Mary. What? Who... who are you? Do not be afraid, Mary. You have been chosen of God. You will conceive and bring forth a son, and will name him Jesus. He will be great, and will be called the Son of the Highest. And of his kingdom there will be no end. Uh, but... how can this be? I, I have never been with a man. The Holy Spirit will come upon you, 
and the Holy One born will be called the Son of God. True to the prophecy, the child was born. And Joseph, a carpenter by trade and a good man, was chosen of God to be their protector. But there were those that hated the child and sought him harm. <gasps> Quickly, we must go. Joseph? Shh. What is it? What are you doing? The baby. He is in danger. But they are only children. And should that matter? I am the king of Israel. I am the king of the Jews. I will not share my kingdom with anyone else! It's only a prophecy! Perhaps, perhaps it is wrong! <sighs> what does it say? But you, Bethlehem, though you are little among the thousands of Judah, yet out of you shall come forth to me the one to be ruler in Israel. Ah! Look! That star over Bethlehem that those astronomers said is announcing the birth of the king of the Jews. I will not take any chances. I am the king of the Jews. I will not share my throne with anyone. Do you hear me? Not with anyone. under two years old. Do not spare one. The family fled to Egypt and remained there until the death of King Herod. Afterwards, they returned to Israel, where Jesus remained in his parents' household until he was 30 years old. But who does he claim to be? This John the Baptist. Precisely what we need to find out and report back to the high priest. All these ignorant fools flocking to this man. Look at them. They should be at the temple, not out here with the likes of this lunatic. Repent, for the kingdom of heaven is near. Prepare the way of the Lord. Look, there they are again, Andrew. To ask the same questions, no doubt. Help us. What shall we do to be saved? Repent. If it is salvation you seek, then do as scripture tells you. Prepare the way of the Lord. Make his path straight. What should you do to be saved? Follow the laws of Moses. That is what. You vipers. Us. Repent. You refer to us? Repentance? We who keep the law of Moses more carefully than the likes of all of you. Repentance from what? You think you are acceptable to God just because you have Abraham for your father? But I tell you, God is able from these stones to raise up children to himself. Enough! Tell us plainly, do you claim to be the Christ, the Messiah, the one God will send to save us? I am the voice of one crying in the wilderness. Prepare the way of the Lord. I baptize you with water, but he that comes after me is mightier than I, 
whose shoes I am not even worthy to untie. I baptize with water, but he will baptize with the Holy Spirit and with fire. We've heard enough. Plenty, in fact. You come to me, Jesus? No, it is I that should be baptized by you. Yet, it is God's will that we are here to fulfill, not our own. After his baptism, Jesus went into the desert by himself to pray and fast. His body became weak after going without food for 40 days, but his spirit remained strong. Jesus. Oh, Jesus. 40 days of fasting. Impressive. Look. Appetizing. If you are truly the Son of God, turn these stones into bread. Satisfy yourself. It'll take away that hunger in your stomach. Satisfy yourself. It is written, man will not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceeds from God. Then, prove yourself. Throw yourself down. See if God will keep you. Is it not also written? He will give his angels charge over you, and in their hands they will bear you up, lest... It is also written, you will not tempt the Lord your God. All this is for you, and all that is within them. If you fall down, and worship me. Think of it. I will give you armies. King Jesus! No! Away with you, Satan. I will worship the Lord my God. And him only will I serve. Hurry up! Get those nets out! Complete waste of time! All night at sea! All night! And what do we have to show for it? Well, a temper, it seems. Cheer up, Simon. You'll be off to your bed soon. Only if the tax collectors haven't taken it while I was away. <laughs> Simon! <sighs> James! And if that weren't enough, those brothers of ours, nowhere in sight. James, Simon, you're not going to believe this! <sighs> well, it's a fine time to show up. We have a business to run, little brother. I know, James, but there's a good reason we're late. There'd better be. We found him! Found who? The Messiah. <laughs> the Messiah? Ha! <laughs> 
the Baptist. He, he told us to follow him. And so we did. We've been talking to him. Yes, all night. All night. Here it comes. All night. We've got a business to run. And you two have nothing better to do than waste your time on... And who are you? Who are you? Jesus. This is he. This is the one, Simon. The Messiah, Jesus of Nazareth. Calm down, Simon. The Messiah? <laughs> the Messiah we have been waiting for? <laughs> A poor man from Nazareth? <laughs> it's true, Simon. Take the boat out again. What? Why? You want to catch, don't you? I'm not about to. We were fishing all night. We've caught nothing. I... Come on, Simon. James, what have you got to lose? You've been up all night already. Come on. Let's see what this is all about. All right. Just to get this nonsense out of your heads. But it'll be you two doing all the work next week. the nets here. Ugh, this is a waste of time. A complete waste. Wake me up when... Oh! Oh! oh. Simon! Simon, look! Come and look! <laughs> well, come on, help us! <laughs> there are too many of them! The nets are breaking! Call the other boat! The boat! Bring the other boat! Lord! Lord! catch we've ever had and the biggest sale Th that's two shekels and that's three shekels rabbi please depart from me i i am a sinful man don't be afraid simon peter follow me what do you mean follow me peter all of you, follow me, and I will make you fishers of men. You mean now? Yes, Peter. But this is the biggest catch we've ever had. From now on, you shall catch men. Very bad for business. Very bad. Wait! Wait for me!
Is this Simon's house? I is this where Jesus of Nazareth is staying? Yes, yes, but there's hardly any room. I heard about a miracle. A large catch of fish, water turned to wine. Yes, yes, I heard that too. And that he healed a young man possessed by demons. It's true. It was a miracle. I was there. I saw it with my own eyes. And I hear he's healed Simon's mother-in-law, sick as can be. The poor woman was bedridden. And now, well, look for yourself, if you can. She's in there attending to others. Ask, and it will be given to you. Seek, and you will find. Knock, and the door will be opened to you. For everyone who asks receives. He who seeks finds. And to him who knocks, the door will be opened. Just that? Ask? Yes. Just ask, and you will receive. Oh, no. No! What are you doing? The roof! You've ruined my roof! Please, please help me! Please help me! Please help me! Please, I've been this way for years. Please help me. Rabbi, Rabbi, we've heard you can do miracles. If there is anything you can do for him, anything. Now, now, what can the good Rabbi do? Take the man home. Please, Rabbi, I know God hears you. Rabbi, please. It's all right. Your sins are forgiven. What did he say? What, what do you mean? Okay. His sins are forgiven? But how? Who does he think he is? That is blasphemy. Only God can forgive sins. Blasphemy. Blasphemy! Tell me, which is easier to say? Your sins are forgiven, or get up and walk, to show you that I have also been given power to forgive sins. Arise, take up your bed, and walk. He's never walked. How can he help him? What's he doing? He's playing with the ground. Hey, step back. Step back. Step back. What's the matter with him? Oh, 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 Maybe he really is for God. He can heal. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Thank you. It's a miracle! A miracle! I tell you, he is a blasphemer! He is a blasphemer! But you saw it! You were there! He healed a paralytic! That has nothing to do with it! Healing a man is one thing, but no one can forgive sins but God! The time has come. The kingdom of heaven is here. Come and believe the good news of the forgiveness of sins. Available to every one of you. Available to all. Come, come, I haven't got all day. But that is all we can afford. Surely you... No, I cannot. Whatever it is you're suggesting, I cannot. Now get out of here. But it's true. Now! Splendid. That is... Uh... 
that is mine. That's Matthew, the tax collector, collecting for the Romans. <laughs> and no doubt a little for himself. People don't seem to like you. Hmm. Some don't, but others don't seem to mind. Certainly not. Hey, Matthew, how about a little more wine? You've had plenty. Come, Lord. Do not associate with him. People will talk. You must. Wait a minute. You're that new prophet everyone's talking about, aren't you? <laughs> Jesus of Nazareth. Don't touch him. What's it to you? <laughs> Maybe he wouldn't mind. <laughs> I know who you are. I saw how you healed that man. What you said about forgiveness of sins, I... I believe you are sin of God. Then follow me. <laughs> Matthew, follow a holy man? <laughs> They're right, Rabbi. I haven't been... Uh, I am not a good man. I didn't ask if you were. Come, Matthew. Follow me. Make of this. Don't you remember, Simon? Jesus cast that net over the boats, and our catch was overflowing. Then he said we would be fishers. Of men? Yes, of men like you and me, fishermen and tax collectors, everyone. Things will never be the same, Simon. Things will never be the same. Jesus continued to surprise people by healing the sick and the lame. This was a fulfillment of a prophecy that said, The Spirit of the Lord is upon me, because He has anointed me to proclaim the good news to the poor. He has sent me to heal the brokenhearted, to proclaim liberty for the prisoners and recovery of sight to the blind to set the oppressed free, and to proclaim the acceptable year of the Lord. Help me! I'm blind! Help me! Please! What? What are you... What are you doing? What are you doing? I tell you, he's a troublemaker, a nuisance. I agree. Publicans, tax collectors, prostitutes, saying he can forgive sins? Blasphemy. That's what it is. Then what are we waiting for? We are the keepers of the laws of Moses. It is our responsibility to stop this. We must take action. Yet you have seen his works, the healing of the sick, even the raising of the dead. Oh, please, a sick boy gets well and suddenly you have the dead raised to life. People talk, rumors grow. But just today, a blind man regained his sight, here in the very temple. Or so they say. How do we know these so-called miracles are real? Well... Master Nicodemus, this is the man. It's a miracle! It's a miracle, I tell you! 
What is the meaning of bringing these people here? Indulge me a moment, please. Tell me, is he your son? Yes, yes. And was he born blind? Completely. How then is it that he sees now? We... we don't know. He is of age. Perhaps you should ask him. What have you got to say for yourself? I can see! I can see! A man! A prophet! He healed me! He... Back away! If you can see, it has been a work of God. Not this man you talk about, one we know to be a sinner. A sinner? Whether he is a sinner or not, I don't know. All I know is, I was blind, and now, now I can see! But how? How did he do it? I don't know. I... But I am sure we can find him. Do you also want to be his disciples? Out! You may be his disciple, but we are not. We follow Moses. As for this man, we, we don't even know where he comes from. Well, isn't that something? You don't know who he is. When was the last time you heard of a blind man receiving his sight? I tell you, this man healed me. If he were not from God, he could do nothing. You were cursed with blindness, and you dare teach us? <laughs> out! Get him out of the temple! Out! I can see! It's a miracle! I can see the sky, and I can see the clouds. And look, are those birds? I can see! I can see! Ow! Has he been there all night? Yes, praying. Do you miss it? What? The boat. Galilee. Sometimes. My family. But not my wife's cooking. <laughs> That I don't really miss. <laughs> but the boat. Yes, I miss that. The freedom. Open sea. Then the more you'll appreciate it. When we get back. We're not going back. We all know it will never be the same. We will not go back. This is God's doing. I am sending you on a journey. You twelve, two by two, to share the good news of the kingdom of God. And as you go, tell everyone, the kingdom of heaven is at hand. Lord, we have left everything to follow you. Yes, Peter, you have. You all have. And he who has left houses, or brothers or sisters, or father or mother, or wife or children, or lands for my sake and the Gospels, will receive 100 times more with persecution. And in the end, everlasting life. Heal the sick. Cleanse the lepers. Raise the dead. Cast out demons. Freely you have received, freely give. I send you out as sheep among wolves. Therefore, be wise as serpents and harmless as doves. For not all will receive you. Whoever confesses me before men, him I will also confess before my Father in heaven. But whoever denies me before men, him I will also deny before my Father who is in heaven. He who finds his life will lose it, and he who loses his life for my sake will find it. 
He who receives you receives me. And he who receives me receives the Father who sent me. And so we went, two by two, to preach his message, just like he told us to. And the people received it gladly. At least, most of them did. Galilee, the Decapolis, Jerusalem, even across the Jordan. It's as if the whole world is following this Jesus of Nazareth. And you just noticed? Well, what are we going to do? I'm thinking. Well, we can't very well sit here doing nothing. Master Zara! What? 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 Can you not see that we are in council? <sighs> what is it? Forgive my interruption, but a group of people, they have a woman caught in adultery. The very act, they say. And they have brought her here. Well, what of it? You know the law. Tell some of the others. Stone her. Very well. Well, what are we going to do about this Jesus? He's taking the people from under our influence, away from us. Wait, come back here. Where are you going? This is important. The adulteress. Bring her with you and come with us. But what about... Will you be quiet? I have an idea. Come. You will find rest for your souls. For my yoke is easy. <laughs> Really? What is the meaning of this? Jesus opens the eyes of the blind, does he not? We too then shall open the eyes of the blind. These blind followers of his. Move! Out of my way! Out of my way, move! Rabbi, this woman was caught in adultery, in the very act. You know that Moses in the law commanded that such a woman should be stoned. <gasps> now, Rabbi, what do you say? Let him, who is without sin, cast the first stone. Does no one condemn you? No, no one, Lord. Then I don't condemn you either. Go and sin no more. Thank you. of this what is there to make of it look at her he forgave her of her sins her heart is filled with peace she leaves a different woman you and I have been witness to a miracle a broken life made whole extraordinary I would like to speak with this man myself
Master Nicodemus. I have come to see the rabbi, to speak with him. Rabbi, Rabbi, I, I believe you are a teacher sent of God, for no one could possibly do the miracles that you are doing were it not for God. I see, I see the work of God in the hearts of your followers, in you. The truth is, no one can experience the kingdom of God unless he is born again. But how can one be born again when he is old? Flesh gives birth to flesh, but the spirit gives birth to the spirit. But how can this be? You are a teacher of Israel and do not understand these things? You must be born again, Nicodemus, in your heart. So he was a teacher, a healer of the sick, and the sick at heart, it seems to me. Even some of your religious leaders sought his opinion, a man of the people. His fame spread, and people came from all around to hear him, to fill their hearts as well as their stomachs. He fed them all. Knowing they were tired after coming from long distances, he took two fish and five loaves of bread and fed over 5,000 people. 5,000? Yes, another time, 3,000. After that, the people wanted to crown him King of Israel. Truly, this is the prophet that is to come! Who else could do these miracles? And speak with such authority! He is the Messiah, the King of Israel! The one we have been waiting for, Jesus the Messiah! Some of his own disciples took up the idea. The King of Israel! Lord, we must go on to Jerusalem. Your favor is everywhere. Yes, we will go to Jerusalem. Wonderful. And there, I must suffer many things. I will be rejected by the elders, the chief priests, and the teachers of the law. No. And there, I must be killed. No, Lord. No! And on the third day, I will be raised to life. This was not what his disciples had wanted to hear. Some thought Jesus was going to set up an earthly kingdom, but Jesus had another mission. Whoever wants to become great among you must be your servant. And whoever wants to be first must be your slave. Just as I did not come to be served, but to serve and to give my life as a ransom for many. Some were shocked, others saddened, and still others offended. Many things that Jesus taught became difficult for people to hear. Love your enemies. Do good to them that hate you. I know some of you follow me because you ate the loaves and fishes and were filled. Do not work for the food that perishes, but for food that endures to eternal life, which I will give you. I am the living bread which came down from heaven. If anyone eats of this bread, he will live forever. And the bread that I shall give is my flesh, which I shall give for the life of the world. Some began to turn away from him because they wanted an earthly king. They began to reject Jesus' teaching, and even one of the twelve, tempted by Satan, tried to take matters into his own hands.
It is settled then. Settled? Thirty pieces of silver. And I shall hand Jesus over to you. We must be careful. Jesus is still very popular among the people. and an occasion to turn the people against him. Who, who is he? It's Jesus! Jesus of Nazareth! The miracle worker? A mob. He brings a mob and encourages them at that. I tell you, this is getting seriously out of hand. That is not the cost of these things. You can take it or leave it. <laughs> That's outrageous. It isn't worth two coins. You heard me. No pay, no doves, no atonement. Your choice. Next. We need to act, and soon. But I have brought my own doves to sacrifice. I can't afford these. The only animals allowed for the temple are the ones sold here. But why? Because the Pharisees say so, that's why. Now pay up! Have you done this? Do not make my father's house a house of merchandise. It is a house of prayer. Money, my money. Take it. Take all of it out. How can you take advantage of the people this way? Do you not fear God? Take all of it out! Stop! Stop! What is the meaning of this? What? It is written. My temple shall be a house of prayer. But you... You have made it a den of thieves! No! Jesus of Nazareth! By what authority do you do this? By what? Destroy this temple, and I will lift it up in three days! What? Forty-six years it took to build this temple, and you, you will raise it up again in three days? You're a madman! Whoa! Unto you, scribes and Pharisees. Hypocrites! You whited tombs! You appear beautiful outside, but inside, inside, you are full of dead men's bones! Woe to you! You shut up the kingdom of heaven to men by your own rules! Rules you cannot even keep yourselves! And you disregard the more important matters of God. Righteous judgment, mercy, and faith. Oh, Jerusalem, Jerusalem, you who killed the prophets and stoned the ones I sinned to help you. <laughs> How often I would have gathered you as a hen gathers her chicks under her wings. <laughs> You would not let me.
I tell you it was outrageous. A threat to our authority. We must act. Our very inaction endorses Jesus. Are we to stand by while he leads our people astray? Yet. I find nothing in his doctrine that contradicts ours. I agree. His teaching is sound. Sound? You saw the commotion today. We must admit, however, the selling of the animals had gotten out of hand. Discontent among the people in that regard is nothing new. Perhaps. But the disruption in the temple? Where will it lead to next? And, have I heard correctly that he calls himself the King of the Jews? With your pardon, Caiaphas, his followers have given him that title. Nevertheless, he has not refuted it, which makes him liable to treason. Consider then an alternative, that rather than lose an entire nation, it would be better for only one man to die. I agree with you, Caiaphas. As do I. Jesus of Nazareth will bring nothing but harm to our nation. He must be put out of the way. At the earliest opportunity. Since the situation at the temple, we do not know where he is. But, I believe I can trace his whereabouts. <laughs> then see to it. No, Lord. This is a job for servants, not for you. Simon Peter, you call me Lord, and rightfully so, for that is what I am. Now that I, your Lord and teacher, have washed your feet, you also should wash one another's feet. I have set you an example that you should do as I have done for you. By this will all men know that you are my disciples, if you love one another. I am glad that I can share this time with you. Lord, what is it? One of you will betray me. Somebody's going to betray him. I would never betray him. Nobody. Would you? Would be my choice. What should we do about Lord, who is it? Is it I? The one to whom I will give this bread. He will betray me. What you are about to do, do quickly. This is my body, which is broken for you. This is my blood, which will be poured for many and for the forgiveness of sins.
Now, where is he? This very night, you will all fall away on account of me. For it is written, I will strike the shepherd, and the sheep will be scattered. But after I have risen, I will go ahead of you into Galilee. Even if all fall away, I never will, Lord. Never. Peter, Satan desires to sift you as wheat. But I have prayed for you that your faith may not fail. And when you are strengthened, encourage your brothers. I would even die for you. Peter, before the rooster crows this morning, you will have denied me three times. Never, never. Father, if it is possible, may this cup be taken from me. Yet, not my will, but your will be done. Lord? The hour has come. He that betrays me is here. What's happening? Judas? What is going on here? Judas! Wait a minute, what are these soldiers? Rabbi, Judas, do you betray me with a kiss? What's going on? Jesus, no! Who are you seeking? Jesus of Nazareth! I am he. Have you come out as against a robber with swords and clubs to take me? I was with you daily in the temple teaching, and you did not seize me then. But the scriptures must be fulfilled. Wait a minute. Take your hands off. Leave him alone. Get away from him. No. Let him go. No. Let no, him that's, go. That's enough. No. Peter. Get away from him. Stop it. No. Ah. No. Let me go. Put away the sword. Don't you think that I can pray to my father and he will provide me with more than 12 legions of angels? Be healed. What? Jesus! Jesus! <laughs> we 
wait here. Where are you going? Perhaps I can find out what is happening. John. John! Nothing to say against these accusations? Answer the High Priest! I have spoken openly. In the synagogues and in the temple. I have said nothing in secret. Why do you ask me? Ask those that heard me. Jesus. You dare to speak to the High Priest that way? If I have spoken evil, tell me. But if not, then why do you strike me? Caiaphas! Enough! Enough. <clears throat> Let us get to the heart of the matter. There are people here that have brought serious accusations against you. They say that you... that you claim to be the Son of God? Tell us plainly, are you the Christ, the Son of the Living God? I am. Hereafter, you shall see me sitting at the right hand of God, and coming with the clouds of heaven. Witnesses, you have heard his blasphemy. What say you? One of his followers, aren't you? No! No! Yes, you are. I saw you with him. I'm sure of it. You've got the wrong man. You are! You're a Galilean! A follower of that Jesus! Yes! I saw you in the garden with him! I tell you. I don't know the man! I swear! I don't know him!
The law states it plainly. Death! Yet you are aware Roman rule prohibits us from putting a man to death. But not the Romans. Take him to Pilate. Please! Please! I must speak to you! I must speak to you! It's all right. Let him go. I have betrayed innocent blood! Ah, take it back! Take it! <laughs> I have sinned by betraying innocent blood! And what is that to us? <laughs> I have sinned. It's Jesus, isn't it? Oh, <laughs> my son, my son! <laughs> he was taken to Pontius Pilate. There's to be an announcement. <laughs> Take me to him! Take me! <laughs> brought me a man that you say has broken the law. I questioned him and found him guilty of no crime. But you insisted on punishment. And therefore, he has been punished. 38! Uh, 39! Uh, 40! Uh, Let him down. Bring him. Pilot wants him now. Wait! Let's not forget his crown. <laughs> We have a custom to free one prisoner during your festive days. What say you? Shall I deliver to you Jesus, who is called Christ? Jesus. Or Barabbas? want you to call out for Barabbas. It's Barabbas. Remember, that's what the Pharisees want. Which of the two do you want me to release to you? Barabbas! Barabbas! Free Barabbas! Barabbas! Free Barabbas! And what of this man? What then shall I do with this Jesus, who is called Christ? Crucify him! Crucify him! No! But why? What evil has he done? 
What evil has he done? We have a law, and according to that law, he must die because he claimed to be the son of God. Where do you come from? Do you refuse to speak with me? Don't you realize I have the power to either free you or to crucify you? You would have no power over me if it were not given to you from above. Therefore, the one who handed me over to you is guilty of a greater sin. I tell you, I find no fault in this man. He calls himself a king. And? We have no king but Caesar. And you know good and well that acknowledging Jesus as king is nothing more than treason. Then bear record that I am innocent of this man's death, for I find no fault in him. I am innocent of the blood of this just person. See you to it. <laughs> My son. His blood be upon us and our children. despised and rejected by men, men of sorrows and familiar with suffering. Surely he took up our infirmities and carried our sorrows, yet we considered him stricken by God, smitten by him, and afflicted. He was pierced for our transgressions. He was crushed for our iniquities. The punishment that brought us peace was upon him. And by his wounds, we are healed. We all, like sheep, have gone astray. Each of us has turned to his own way, and the Lord has laid on him the iniquity of us all. <laughs> he saved others, yet he cannot save himself. Let him come down from the cross, and we will believe in him. Let God rescue him now if he wants him. After all, didn't he say he was the son of God? <laughs> Father, forgive them. They don't know what they are doing. Aren't you the Christ? Then save yourself and us! Quiet! Don't you have any fear of God? Even now? We're criminals. We deserve this. But this man, he has done nothing wrong. Nothing at all. J Jesus, R remember me when you enter your kingdom. I tell you the truth. Today, 
you will be with me in paradise. For three hours, he agonized on the cross. And then at noon, a strange thing happened. Darkness came over all the land and remained that way for another three hours. Mother, this is your son. This is your mother. Father! Father, why have you forsaken me? <laughs> it is finished. Father, into your hands I commit my spirit. When he died, the earth shook, the rocks split, and the curtain of the temple was ripped in two. Surely this man was the son of God. That deceiver, Jesus, while he was still alive, he said, After three days, I will arise again. In order to avoid any further deceit, command a guard at the tomb and seal it. Lest his disciples come and steal away the body. And then say unto the people that he has risen from the dead. Agreed. Go and make it as sure as you can. Three days! So you keep reminding me. Three days guarding this too! We don't have to guard all these other dead people, but this one! This one we have to guard, all because of some idiotic superstition that he's going to rise from the dead? <laughs> no one rises from the dead! Which is why we're here, so that none of his followers steal the body and claim that he did. Now quit complaining. <laughs> of course no one rises from the dead. <laughs> What was that? A uh, tremor, an earthquake. I don't know. Didn't sleep again? You need sleep. I need peace. I denied him, John. I failed him. We were all afraid. I wish I could tell him how ashamed I am. I wish I could. You said no one knew we were here. They don't. I'll go see. James, no. Mary! I saw him! What? Who? The Lord! I saw him! He's alive! What? He's risen! 
He has risen from the dead! And he had indeed risen. He was no longer in the tomb. But how? The tomb was empty. The shroud was there, but nobody. Jesus was gone. That same day, he appeared to some of his disciples. Thomas, we saw him, spoke with him. I told you, impossible. Unless I can place my finger on the imprint of the nails and thrust my hand into his side, I will not believe. Peace be unto you. I... 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 Reach with your finger and touch my hands. And reach out your hand and thrust it into my side. And be not faithless, but believing. <sighs> and my God. Thomas, because you have seen me, you have believed. Blessed are they that have not seen and yet believe. Simon Peter, do you love me? Lord, these three times you've asked me. You know all things. You know I love you. Feed my sheep. Simon Peter, when you were a younger man, you did as you pleased. Went wherever you wanted to. But now in your age, God will take you and lead you. Sometimes to places you never wanted to go to. Will you go, Peter? Will you go for me? Yes, Lord. I will go wherever you ask me. I will follow with all my heart. What about John, Lord? What about him? Don't worry about John. If it's my will that he live until I get back, what does that matter to you? You just follow me. And so it was commonly thought that disciple would not die. Or rather, that he would not die at the hands of his enemies. And so it was. You. Yes. The others all died a martyr's death each one taking the message of Jesus to the surrounding countries that they too may come to know God, even though it cost them their very lives. I, alone of the twelve, remain, a witness to all Jesus did and said, to the miracles, to the love, and to his parting message. Go into all the world, and preach the good news to every creature. Whoever receives me will be saved, and I will love him, and will come and make his heart my home. And remember, I will be with you always, even to the end of the world. So you see, how can I deny what I have seen with my own eyes? and what I know to be true in my heart, that Jesus Christ is the Son of God, who died to take away the sins of the world, my sins and, and yours as well, and who rose again from the dead. And now that you have heard the story, what will you believe?